I am like the goofball of my generation, of my family. I am the reason that everybody likes to smile. I go to school full time to become a nurse and on the verge of becoming a nurse practitioner. I'm also an entrepreneur with my own cosmetic line. I'm 25 years old and I live with sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a very rare blood disorder that causes your red blood cells to come out half oxygenated than the regular blood cell would be. It's an invisible disorder that attacks you internally. We found out that sickle cell trait runs of my family. That was a big, wide awakening for my family, just me being born. I spent majority of my life from five years old up to 12 years old in the hospital. I would have to get these injections every night. I had to walk around with a port that was inserted into my chest. So I, when I was to go swimming, I used to be insecure about my body. And I used to always ask him, well, why? And that's when I finally met my hematologist. She embedded it in my brain where, what sickle cell do you have? Sickle cell anemia SC. With sickle cell anemia SC, what do you experience? Because if I was to go to any other hospital and they don't know what sickle cell anemia is, I'm the one that has to explain it to them. That's what made me want to become a nurse practitioner is because I had an amazing pediatric hematologist and I also had an amazing pediatric nurse practitioner and she woke me up into the positivity that I can shed into others. She said, normally when kids come in here, they're down. You make people in the hospital smile. I would have never imagined or thought I would have made it this far without my team. It's a miracle. Being told that I might not be able to make it past 11 or 15, and then being able to be 25, want to be 26 in like two months. It's amazing. It's like amazing knowing that what I've done in my life from what I came from. <sighs> At first, it was so hard living on my own. I'll have to drink a gallon of water a day. On top of that, I would know that I have to keep my medications on standby staying consistent with appointments. Sometimes there's days where I won't have an appetite because of my medications, especially because of the pain medications. But I know that if I don't eat and if I don't sleep, I'm gonna have a pain crisis. Living with sickle cell, it, it does not stop me. I can have a pain crisis while being on the airplane and I know I have tons of snacks in my backpack. I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna take my pain medicine. I'm gonna rest for two hours. And after two hours, I'm gonna feel better. Once the two hours wears off, I know that I have to drink lots of lots of lots of water. Replenish all the liquids in my body that's been gone from the pain medicine. So me staying on top of my health while doing all these strenuous activities is what makes me able to do them. No matter how depressing it may seem or annoying and tiring it may get, sickle cell made Tyler the awesomest, smiling, and blessful person that I am now. You just cannot give up on yourself. You cannot doubt yourself, and you can't say, well, because I have sickle cell, I can't do this or that. No, you can. This is your life. Sickle cell now lives with you. You just have to know what you need to do to make sure you guys can come to a compromise to work together. My aspirations for my future is for me to hopefully one day run my own hematology oncology clinic to be able to give all sickle cell patients the, the, the capability of living on their own and seeing the world while taking care of their health at the same time. I want to be able to share that with the world of people who have sickle cell.